In this video, you're going to learn a new stable diffusion model that is 50% smaller in size and 60% faster for generating the image and that can be completely run on free Google Colab. I'm going to show you step-by-step -step tutorial of how to do it. It's from a company called Segmind. They have released a distilled version of stable diffusion. And also we're going to see a couple of demos of how you can run this on your own local machine or Google Colab. Let's get started. For very first thing is, if you want to use a text to image model, when is the time when you want to use a model like a stable diffusion Excel? And uh, you might think that, okay, I can probably go to DALI 3 and ask a question. Let's say this is the question that we want to answer. Design a photo of American president Joe Biden with blood in his hands. And this question is not going to be answered by Dali 3 because all it is going to say is, I'm sorry, but I cannot create or promote imagery that could be perceived as harmful, offensive, or misleading. Please provide a different description or let me know how can I assist you in another way. And these are the moments when you actually think, oh, it would have been better had I had an open source solution than having a closed solution which is being controlled by a for-profit organization for various reasons. And that is exactly why you want to use something like Stable Diffusion Excel. And here you can just give the prompt, the negative prompt, and you have the image ready in a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds with Joe Biden with a lot of hands in his bloods. So let's see what this model is. This model is called Segment, Segmind Stable Diffusion Model, SSD. It's a 1 billion parameter model. This model is actually a distilled version. So when you have got large language models, people use different techniques to do knowledge distillation so that you can have a smaller version of the model without compromising a lot on the model's capabilities. So this is a 50% distilled smaller model offering 60% speed up when you compare it with Stable Diffusion Excel, SD Excel, while maintaining high quality text to image generation. This model has been trained on diverse datasets, including grit and also scraped mid journey dataset to enhance its creative abilities. And uh, you can go here and then read the distillation strategies and all the other information here. But using this model is actually very simple because it's part of Hugging Faces Diffusers library. I'm going to take you to my Google Colab and then show you how it is done. The first thing that you need to do is you need to install diffusers. Transformers, Accelerate. These are the three libraries that you want. Diffusers, Transformers, Accelerate. Once you have these mod libraries installed, then the next thing is from Diffusers, import Stable Diffusion Excel Pipeline. So even though this is not necessarily a Stable Diffusion Excel model, because this is a distilled version of SD Excel model, just like any other fine-tuned SD Excel model, you can typically use this model as part of Stable Diffusion Excel Pipeline an import torch for data type struct data type then you can say create a pipe in that you have to say stable diffusion excel pipeline dot from pretrain specify the model name specify the data type use safe tensors if you want to use safe tensors and what kind of variant are you looking for which is a floating point 16 variant then send the model to CUDA GPU once you do that it's going to be available for you to just right away use the model you can give prompt, negative prompt, and in fact, like you can do a bunch of other things which we have not seen. For example, you can fine tune this model like any other model. You can uh, create control net and you can do a lot of other things that you typically do with any stable diffusion model, which is very good. Like you can do fine tuning, you can do LoRa, you can do Dream Booth LoRa, and basically you can do a lot of these things that typically you would be able to do with any stable diffusion model, but it is faster and also more memory efficient. That means you get to run more number of images, lesser time on a consumer hardware, consumer GPU. A typical question that we usually ask, an astronaut riding a green horse, negative prompt, ugly, blurry, poor quality, send the prompt, send the negative prompt, get the image, then display the image. You have got an astronaut riding a green horse. The next one, a cute, a cute baby bear, bear baby, in mug, flowers around, watercolor style. And for the same image, this is what you got. It's actually cute. It's actually cute and pretty. And the final one that I just showed you, design a photo of American president, Joe Biden with blood in his hands and you give the prompt. So you can take this and then let's try one more image. Okay, so I'm gonna ask Dali, 
okay design a photo of elon musk holding a gun i could have asked a cigar as well so but let's let's try with a gun okay it it's not going to do for me so i'm going to go to stable diffusion and paste this in a new cell with the same set so i'm going to just say design a photo photo of elon musk holding a gun negative prompt ugly blurry poor quality if you want to ask plastic 3d plastic 3d deformed you can do it and then run this it's going to take a couple of seconds as you can see it's uh, trying to take approximately 20 to 25 seconds before finishing the image generation which is pretty fast because the image that you are getting are uh, not a smaller resolution image these are really high resolution images you can see the size of the image that you have got and once the image is done you get to save the image and the good good thing with this kind of system is you can batch process the images that means in a given one minute period you can like generate x amount of y amount of images so this is a picture of elon musk um, the fingers are quite deformed to be honest uh, the fingers are not good the gun i don't know gun looks um, gun gun looks like you know he's a pipe piper or somebody but anyways the the point here is that one this model doesn't go through a much of a censorship that you would typically see with closed source solutions like dali the image generation speed is pretty fast it's a distillation model that means it's going to take lesser time lesser memory on a consumer hard hardware and all thanks to the team behind segmine for releasing this model which is a 50% distilled stable diffusion excel model which is 60 times or sorry 60 percent faster while maintaining similar high text to image generation capabilities where you can do lora dream booth and all the other things that you would do let me know in the comment section what you feel about otherwise all the required links will be in the youtube description see you in another video happy prompting